Hello. Okay, so this time it's not early or super early, but I just woke up. My sleep schedule is just all over the place. So anyway, just got this in yesterday. I feel like this came really fast. I mean, I know, I think the pre-order was in May. I think my order date on here says May 20th, but by the time he put out a notice that it's being shipped, I was thinking, okay, cool. That's going to, you know, maybe another month from now because I think it's coming from a different, from his country. Um, but yeah, so this showed up yesterday. I'm like, oh, what, when, what is this even? Because it came in a pretty good sized box. Um, and it was this. I'm like, oh, awesome. So here, I'll just open it instead of talking. This looks packaged pretty well, especially from where I imagine it shipped from. Okay, so that's layer one. And so, wow, it's um, packed pretty good. All right. I don't know why my voice is always so hoarse when, I mean, I know I kind of woke up not that long ago, but if I have to go to work, like days I have to go to work at like eight in the morning, I pretty much wake up fairly soon and go to work and talk everyone's ear off. So I don't know. I'm not hoarse then. <laughs> okay. So this is the second edition Algoliath Tarot from Algoliath. Um, I'll link his YouTube down below because uh, he's got some videos about each card. I need to sit down. <laughs> videos about each card, which are pretty um, in depth in a sense that he really kind of puts his personal perspective on everything. Um, they're pretty intense. Let me just tell you that. There's, to be honest, with some of the first video, maybe like the first video I watched had to be like the, the devil or something. And, and at first I'm like, oh, this is a little more in your face, but it, in a different, different way. Like it's very honest after I started watching, like, okay, I, I get it. Like, that's awesome. Oh yeah, there's a little tab. So I missed out on the first one. I had the first one in my wish list for quite a while and I was kind of on the fence and then it seemed like by the time I'm like yes I actually I want I'm ready to get this or financially I'm ready to get this uh it was out of print I'm like are you serious <laughs> and then I went on the website and it said the second edition would be coming soon um and of course pandemic and everything so the oh that smells nice <laughs> So this is the the book. Um, so I don't have the first edition to compare to, obviously, but I think that was like some people weren't too happy because it was kind of written in a way that it could have been a flip book. But I don't I don't mind this. I mean, uh, I I can read it, <laughs> and I have pretty bad vision, although my glasses help a little bit. I. Uh, I mean, I understand the whole, he, what he say is like an 80,000 word guidebook and just trying to get everything compact and at least you get full pictures. I mean, I, I like it. I think that's great. Um, and also, you know, he changed a lot of things in respect to, um, the consumers and I can really appreciate that. So the cards were going to be smaller and in two little packs here. No more plastic insert from what I've seen from other, from the first edition. And I always hate this part because <laughs> if I scratch a card, I will regret it forever. So I don't know if that's <laughs> rude of me or not but I'm kind of 
actually kind of glad I missed out on the first one because I, I think I do like um, the aesthetic of the second of this one. So I think um, you just open them up and there you go. I've never really been a fan of these like two part boxes. I mean, it's not going to affect me. I probably, I never throw my, I mean, especially nice boxes. I never throw them away because, well, I'm a hoarder anyway. So, but I, this is one I might try to make my own little box for. I've been trying to find a nice way to do it. <laughs> this is one. This is not, this is just a prototype that I had trimmed my thoth that I just had to get for study. So we've got a uh, matte card stock. I think he made them a little bit thinner to make them more manageable. Um, all matte, no more gloss, which I actually uh, think that doesn't affect the art, actually. I know, like, some of the paintings I've done, like, I put some gloss on. I'm like, wow, that looks really nice. But um, these look really good matte. So they're still kind of chunky. So maybe I'll move this down so we can go through the cards. I know there's already going to be a bunch of... Wee! A bunch of walkthroughs and everything, but, you know, I didn't particularly want to do, like, unboxings um, on here because, I don't know, I feel this is weird going from left to right. <laughs> I don't know. Why is that weird? So, in his videos, he also kind of compares um, his cards to the originals and then just kind of talks quite a bit. They're, they're pretty long, which I appreciate because, and I think he also kind of says he doesn't want to give anybody like the meanings. Everyone should kind of figure out their own meanings they want for the cards. However, for me, I always love, um, artistic perspectives. Being someone who, uh, likes to draw and paint and stuff like that. Getting that perspective. I'm like, what does this mean to you? And, you know, one thing I'm kind of indifferent about, uh, the whole idea, like this is a shadow deck and he kind of touches upon in his videos. And I know it's a little controversial, kind of in, in the whole community because he's kind of talking about there's too many whitewash decks and stuff like that and I'm kind of neutral on that topic because I do feel there is a lot of and I was kind of watching some videos about this the other day about toxic positivity and I totally agree with that um you know because I'm sorry if I'm kind of brain dead this morning. My, I Not only did I, uh, tarot-wise, read like a million books in like a few days, but um, school, college also started for me, and I'm doing full-stack web development, so my brain is even more fried. Maybe it was fried to begin with. <laughs> um, where was I? Yeah, so kind of this whole toxic positivity movement, I think a lot of people were kind of comparing that to like those multi-level marketing platforms where it's kind of like cult-like. But I find it in other communities too where they just, you know, there's just nothing negative. And I don't think that's healthy um, at all. It really isn't. You, you Because people... Maybe not people, but that kind of movement is, their, their negativity is like that condescending. Like if you're not, there's no reason for you to be negative. There's no reason to be upset. There's, you know, and that's great, but we're all kind of meant to go on that roller coaster so we can appreciate certain aspects of our life. I know for a fact that, I mean, yeah, there's times in my life that at the moment, I really wish I weren't experiencing, but I'll tell you what, when those moments are over and you do experience a happy point in your life, 
that happiness you will you would never feel without knowing what that downtime is which i mean that's not anything new uh, like me i get chronic migraines which sucks and it'll always suck and <laughs> um i do wish they were gone but i'll tell you what that feeling i get when my migraine finally goes away is a relief that i don't know it it's like this um boost of well endorphins because my body was fighting pain all day but i don't know um so there are a lot of really super positive decks that don't even you know go there but at the same time there are people whose entire life and past are super negative and they're trying to bring in positivity and when you have decks that are completely positive some people do need that I found like some of these cards I mean for me because of my past and I won't get into like anything specific but my shadow issue was accepting positive things and that's kind of um well let me like so you know like cards like that which is not too bad but you know like cards like this you know maybe five years ago I'm like that card means absolutely nothing to me I mean or you know this one for those who kind of had <laughs> uh a not so great childhood or whatever like those cards actually brought me more I don't know pain I guess when I saw those as opposed to like you know the tower or the the ten of swords like I see the ten of swords and I'm like yeah sure that's like a that's like a Tuesday you know <laughs> um so some people are are kind of are, have become pretty comfortable with negative cards um and that's kind of something I was thinking about when I was watching some of his, some of his videos and you know he sounds like he's become very comfortable with these cards and I totally get that I totally get the that um these are gorgeous by the way I'm super excited usually I don't do these before work because I want to sit with these all day but I'm probably going all over the place but I I totally get it and I get frustrated with that too people that can't handle um and this is kind of going off on a tangent people that just can't handle don't want to deal with the negativity I feel like that drives more negativity I know like um my growing up life it should be easy to just say hey this is something I'm unhappy with can we fix it and the moment you talk about something that's not you know happy uh they're like no why can't you just find the good and everything I like these I think he, these are gonna these are like um used for some dowsing or your pendulums which I wanted to make one because I don't like buying that kind of stuff I like just making it but if you this is my craft drawing desk if you were to see it the rest of it oh my gosh <laughs> um Oh, so I, I, I have to keep these in order for a while. Um, so I think these are the extra cards. The Shadow Cat. Oh. Oh. I love pine cones. I, I, I don't buy them anymore because I can't throw them away. I mean, I'll throw them back outside. I have some that I painted. This artwork is just everything. <laughs> so yeah, those are, those are, and I'll have to read more about it because I kind of watched some walkthroughs a long time ago. And then, like I said, when I was ready to purchase the, the first edition and it wasn't there, I'm like, oh no. And then I was waiting 
when I decide I want to want to get something, I did go and watch some of his videos, which you know, they're kind of long, and I do recommend because they're they're pretty good, pretty intense. <laughs> he took, he's uh, uh, really seems like a really cool guy in my opinion, very blunt and to the point and real, which as a, an air sign, I really appreciate because uh, I would rather. I don't know what's that saying I, I say it all the time and I'm just so brain dead this morning I always am um would rather be hurt by the truth than comforted with a lie like I've always been that way and you know that I think that's why people like to just use the cards because they're just going to be in your face like you know if I on a, on a, for an example, in a shallow sense, like if I wear an outfit that makes me look like crap, it's like, tell me I look like crap. It's not going to hurt my feelings. You know, what's going to, you know, what's going to get me is when I think all day, I don't, I don't believe you. <laughs> and I, and all day I'm like going back and forth on it. If someone just says that looks like crap, it's like, okay, good. I can move on. My anxiety appreciates that. And maybe I'll do like a walkthrough those are I love filming those walkthroughs I did it with the Marchetti tarot because for a new deck that's great because for me it's like a great learning tool and I feel like I get to talk to people about it like the three people that may ever watch it for two minutes <laughs> but they're so fun but man I get lightheaded because <laughs> I just I yeah, I get super lightheaded because I'm like trying to read and trying to sit up straight and all this other stuff. I don't even know. I'm just rambling. So I'm really sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm, I'm just super, super into this artwork. And I love the black and white. I hope uh, following him on Instagram and seeing some other um, aspects of his work and uh, I think I can kind of foresee some more cards maybe, but this is, this is great. And I'm excited to dive into that because I was kind of put off by, not put off, but just a little intimidated by alternative. And I love this, uh, black. I actually think I like that a lot, but I love this back. It's reversible. Um, I'm, I'm kind of like, um, I'm not doing reversals at the moment I've thought about it I'm, I'm unsure but I do think I mean guys there's 78 cards add reversals that's just a very um that's 78 more things you could get sometimes I when I see a card and I feel like I should read it read it in a shadow self I'm just unsure so I don't know so I know people probably already gone through this um, I kind of just really wanted to talk about that whole, like, toxic positivity thing. I don't know. That's, that's why I enjoy watching those, his videos. I mean, some of them are, you know, are like, after like, move back, I'm like, whoa. <laughs> um, but like, and maybe some of them are a little far out there, but a lot of that stuff, man, I talk about all the time in just everyday conversation. Cause, um, yeah, it's just something to really, really think about. In, in today's world but um so he's got the keywords and um the eternal vagabond I, li I like I like those keywords the, the planet element zodiac some stones I really appreciate when some of those um associations are mentioned and I'm not gonna read a lot of this oh yeah see I that that's great and that's great when well, reverse keywords so those are in there too um, those are the majors and then the minors get kind of like a smaller section and you still get your keywords I mean I will say I wish there were I wish just about almost everything I wish there was there was a little bit more information for the minors, especially for alternative. Oh man, I really love that. <laughs> That's great. I like that. 
anyway so which you know there's still something here I don't I don't feel like they were neglected at all there's quite a bit you got quite a few keywords um and I haven't read any of this yet well I just opened it <laughs> so but that's still quite a bit especially when it's it's smaller print so that would have been like a full page normally I like this font too So I can already tell when I go and listen to myself, I'm going to be like, oh, my, I'm all over the place. <laughs> it's crazy times, crazy times. And I'll tell you what, it really, I wish I could get more involved in some of this stuff, but it's like the moment things in the world happen, um, my migraines just try to kill me, I swear. <laughs> and I, I feel like, I feel like, this pressure and there's nothing I can do about it like atmospheric pressure I feel sick I just feel sick and so all I can say is just take take care of yourself love your, each other for one you know everybody says that everybody throws that out there and the people that need to be, oh geez, I put, <laughs> you know, the people that need to be listening are, I think, I don't know. I, everyone means it when they say love your neighbor, love, love everybody, blah, 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 blah. I mean, I mean it. I mean it when I say it. So it'd be nice if everybody listened. <laughs> I, I don't know. Oh, I'm super excited. I love this box. I'll probably try and make my own little box. And I say little box, I'll probably be bigger than this this box. <laughs> this is great. I don't know what to I don't know what else to look at. The back is really cool. When I got this thing, I'm like, oh I'm so excited. I'm excited. He's he still got the um different colored borders. Um I'm a little, I'm a little neutral on, on that. So we'll see. I, like I said, I haven't watched too many more walkthroughs because when I know I'm going to get something that doesn't help with my anticipation because I know I also like to kind of walk through it myself and I feel like I should talk about more. I do. I don't know what else to talk about. This is great. I'm going to link things down below. And maybe I'll do like my own walkthrough, but like I said, he's got his own commentary of these cards. So when the creator has a commentary, um, I don't feel too obligated to give my own, but maybe I will because why not? And maybe talk about some of the art because um, the artwork is amazing. So I think that's all I can think of. I rambled about nonsense. We didn't really look too intensive at the cards, but I'm super excited and <laughs> scatterbrained. So, so that'll be that. Um, take care, stay safe, love everybody. Well, hmm, I guess that's a hard one. Love all the nice people. <laughs> I don't love people that loves everyone else. <laughs> um, yeah. Ho hopefully, hopefully. The world balances itself out you know I've got no beef with anybody I've, I'm always kind of just uh, in my lair and I go to work and I come home and <laughs> sometimes I don't know I've I've been deleted from many people on Facebook for my opinions <laughs> I just don't get on there anyway so take care, stay safe, and thanks for watching.